Last week, I heard people in the Ultimate Support Group say, I've created a website, but I'm still not getting found. What am I doing wrong? So in this video, I'm going to share how creating a website is really the first step, but there are a couple more things that you need to take into consideration in order to get found. So stay tuned to learn how online students from anywhere in the world can find you through your website so that you can create a whole new income stream from online tutoring that is successful and thrives even in the toughest of times. <music> Hi, my name is Joanne Kaminsky, and when I created my first website in 2010, I had heard that people would not be able to find me unless I had optimized my website to be found. So I optimized my website, submitted my website to the search engines, and created a freebie so that people could find me and hire me from all over the world. And guess what? It began working. And after I took these steps, I started creating content so that more people could find me, and that also began working. Now, many people will tell you that don't bother with this strategy, it's gonna to take too long. But here's something that those people don't realize. The work that you do today may not pay off right now, but it certainly is gonna pay off well into the future and by tenfold. And it's kind of like a farmer, right? A farmer plants his seeds in the spring knowing that his crop is not gonna yield until the fall. He does not plant his seeds, water, and then check back the next day and get disappointed because there isn't even a sprout yet. He just continues to take action, knowing that consistently taking care of his crop will result in more than enough in the fall. And oftentimes, I see online tutors take a few actions, not get immediate results, and think that the market must be too saturated. But the real problem is that nobody can find their content. In the beginning, I put a ton of work to let people know that I exist. And because of that, today I rarely advertise my tutoring services. And because of the work that I put in those first couple of years, I continue to get found over and over again from people all over the world. And each time I get a message in my inbox from another person that would like to help their child with reading, I get extremely excited. I get that warm, fuzzy butterflies that give that tingling sensation all over my body. And all of this is organic. I don't have to spend any money advertising my business and it is still working today. So let's take a look at how to optimize your website. First, you need to brainstorm keywords that you want to get found for. Now, lots of people in the beginning, they make the mistake of thinking that keywords are a topic like phonics or math tutor, but they're more like a thought. For example, best math tutor near me. The reason why you want a thought is because that's what your ideal client is typing into Google. Now, I want you to brainstorm 10 keywords like this that you want to get found for. You're going to add your name as one of the keywords. And when people type in your name, they are going to find your website and your content. So to help you with the brainstorming phase, ask friends what they would type into Google if they were looking for someone who tutors the area that you tutor. We tend to run out of ideas on our own, so this is going to help you think about it in another way. Now, another tool that you can use is ubersuggest.io. You can type in the keyword and other keywords will come up that people are searching for. It even tells you how many people are searching for them each month. Now, what keyword are you thinking of right now that you would like to get found for? Type it below and I'll let you know what the likelihood will be to get found for it. Also, I'm going to make a suggestion for you to add to your website that you will want to think of as well. So let's do this keyword research thing together. Now, after you have found your keywords, it is time to place them on your website. If you know code, you can add it there. And if you have a website creator like Wix, it's going to show you where to add these words. Now, this is one area that members in the Insider Secrets Club are constantly working on. They know that there are a ton of keywords that they can get found for, and we can figure it out together so that they can get found. Now, it is time to submit your URL to Google so that it can be found. If you skip the step, it's not possible for the search engines to find you. And don't think that if you search for your website after a couple of days or weeks that it's just going to instantly get found. Now, some people think that Google is advanced enough to find your website without you doing anything. And this may be true if you have a ton of links pointing to your website, but this usually is not the case for a new tutor just starting out and creating their very first website, right? I personally feel it's better to be safe than sorry, so just submit it. <laughs> it's easy to do and it's gonna give you the advantage. So to submit it on Google, just go to the Google Search Console and then enter your URL. 
you're going to be asked to verify that you are not a robot, and that is all there is to it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I put a link in the description so that you can just click it and enter it in. Now, if you like content like this video so far, hit that like, subscribe, and that little bell so that you can stay up to date on all the important information about starting your own online tutoring business, getting found, hired, and referred. Now, back to our website. So many people think that this is uh, where this is where tutors stop. You know, they think the work is done. But now it's time to create content and backlinks so that you can get found. Google likes websites that are constantly adding content. And the less content you add, the less it comes up in searches. So now it's time to decide what kind of content you want to create. Do you feel most comfortable writing, talking, or doing videos? You can use your blog on your website to actually blog or add videos or podcasts. You can also write on other people's blogs. Be a guest on someone's podcast and link them on your blog. The more visible you are online and the more places your website gets linked, the better. I mean, this signifies to Google that this is valid content. It's unfortunate that some people on the internet are just like hijacking keywords, not creating great content. So this is how Google determines who's doing this so that they can weed out the junk uh, that's out there. And the more diligent you are, the better the results you're going to get. And I think one of the coolest things that you can do as a tutor is to create content with other tutors. To learn more about this, watch my video on collaboration over competition. The link is in the description. And once you have content, you can start spreading that content on your social media platforms. However, make sure the social media platforms that you are spreading your resources on are ones in which you have a presence. I mean, don't just open up a social media platform, sign up for it, and start sharing your content. You need to interact with people. You need to join groups, take part in the conversations, and share your content when necessary and when it is useful. People will then see value on it. They're going to click it. They're going to continue to learn more about you. In other words, you have to be social on social media in order for it to be effective. Now, once you become active, it is time to create a social media content calendar. Planning your content out ahead of time and in a consistent manner is going to help you stay in front of people's minds. But what most people do is they play with a certain social media tool for about, you know, a month or two, and then they don't get the results they want. They back off. But this isn't what the farmer would do, would he? As soon as his crop starts to sprout, he doesn't say, ah, oh, heck, that was a lot of work and not much really happened as a result. So I'm going to quit watering the crap, go back inside and watch some football. Nope. He gets out there the very next day, keeps watering, weeding, and taking that right action. So now that you know some of the actions that you need to take, I bet you're wondering what in the world kind of content to create. Now, I have got you covered as well. In fact, I have created for you 156 ideas of things that you can create blog posts for, podcasts about, or create videos on. Not only that, but I also have a social media calendar and a social media tracker. All you have to do is go to the link in the description and tell me where to send it. Now, if you have found this content useful and know someone that could get value out of it, please pass this video on. And remember to hit like and subscribe. Well, my name is Joanne Kaminsky, the online tutoring business coach, helping you get found, hired, and referred. Here's till next time. Bye, everyone.